Have you ever heard or of a place where no one has been for a long time? Or have you ever met someone who was self-centered? Well, meet me, Mary Lennox. I'm, people call me a selfish and spoiled. And now I'm going to live with my hunchback uncle, uncle's house, whom I have never met before. I'm, I'm going there because of an earthquake that happened in India. I'm sent there so I may be protected from the earthquake that striked India. Now I live with my brother. No, now I live with my uncle on his property. And I decide, since he's super rich, I decided to look around his, gar his garden. And suddenly I see a bird who's trying to get my attention. And he leads me to a door. I got super curious about the door. But after seeing the door, a boy comes to me. And we talk, and his name's Dickon. And he's followed by some animals. So nowadays, I play with um, Dickon, and now we're good friends. And we and we hang out in the garden. But I'm still curious about the door. Mary, don't go snooping around, okay? I'm gonna be back later. Hmm, wonder what's behind this door. <gasps> A key. Hmm, maybe it's the key to that garden. Anyways, hmm, wait, I hear crying. Hmm. Is there any kids living in this house? I hear crying. No, that's probably the wind. Really? But I'm very sure that there's someone crying. Stop using your imagination, girl. <gasps> Hi. Hi there. Why are you inside this room? I don't know, I'm just sick. And now me and... I tell Colin about the garden, and Colin comes, see, here's Colin. We can only sit on the grass since you can't walk. So, me and Dick can try to teach him how to walk. Come on, try to walk. Okay, and you're successful. And he told me that he wants his father to see him that he can walk. So. Will his father come or not? Will Colin's father come back? Or if he does, will he be pleased? Or will he send Colin back to the house and never be able to come outside again? To find out, read The Secret Gardens by Francis Huggins Burnett. To find out.